Hi everybody, it's Christopher Naiman. Today we're going to talk about seam guides and getting seam guides attached to your machine that many people do, are not aware of. And if you're having problems sewing straight and you buy those magnetic seam guides that keep slipping on you, well, stay tuned because I got some tips for you. Okay, what this is, is this is a, a seam guide for an industrial sewing machine. And again, I bought this on eBay. I'm always looking all over and eBay has a lot, a lot of people posting products to sell on there that you can get that you can't get anywhere else. And I've been in sewing machine stores looking for things that they have no clue of. I go to eBay and I find it. So that's where I'm going to share it all with you. Now what this is, it doesn't fit on all sewing machines. Right now I'm looking, this is my Janome um, Skyline S5. This is the Janome. And what, if you can notice down here, it's got a little hole there. And that, that screw hole there it will work for this. This will fit here. This, this, this contraption will fit. So what you do is... Uh, and again, this is a homemade video, and I'm doing this trying to hold the camera in one hand, so it's free, so bear with me. Okay, so anyway, you're going to screw that onto the machine, onto the bed of the machine, and then you're going to set your seam allowance where you want it to be. Tighten this down really good, set your seam allowance, and this goes back and forth also, okay? get this foot off of here so whatever you want if you want it to be like a quarter of an inch you'd set it up so it's close to the edge of your sewing machine foot and then when you sew you got your fabric riding against the edge you have perfect seam allowance now I have this also on my industrial portable industrial home sewing machine and I'll show you that next Okay, so I'm back with the Baby Lock straight stitch machine. Now, I, I made a video a little bit ago talking about replacing the light on this machine. I want to let you know, this machine has been through a couple of different names. When I purchased it, as you can see, it was a Quilter's Choice Professional. And then they switched in and called it the Jane. And then the uh, brother, it's a PQ 1500 or 150 or something like that. Then Juki, it's a TL 98. So, you know... And then I know I know that uh, Viking and FAF have their own versions. Janome has their own type of version. But what this is basically here, they promoted this as a quilting machine because it had a little longer arm there. You could put it on a quilting frame. This is actually a straight stitch portable industrial machine. If you don't have the room for an industrial machine, straight stitch industrial machine um, with an industrial motor, this is the next best thing. Fantastic. Um, for garment sewing especially fantastic because this is what they use a straight stitch and a straight stitch foot in garment sewing anyway so this one you can attach to the foot uh, the bed of the machine and this has two holes there are two screw holes so you can put two screws on there and tighten it down so it doesn't go anywhere what I like to do on mine though is I the pattern that I use by Islander Sewing, for example, it, ha it has a quarter inch seam allowance, three eighths of an inch seam allowance, and five eighths of an inch seam allowance throughout the whole pattern. So if you get if you get an Islander Sewing pattern, especially the men's uh, men's fabric, men's uh, shirt pattern, make sure you watch the seam allowances. Okay. So what this is, I got it butted against the five eighths. Then this one, I move this in when I'm ready to do three eighths. And then if I don't want to do, if I'm not doing the three eighths or the five eighths, and I'm just using the quarter of an inch seam allowance, it's actually a quarter of an inch from the split of the foot to the edge of this foot here. That's actually a quarter of an inch. So you see how convenient that is? Um, and this is great for when you want to sew straight. You're trying to sew straight. And you just adjust it so it's straightened. And when you go through, you don't have to worry. There's a lot of us that have wonky seams because we can't sew straight. And then of course this machine comes with an extension table. I don't have it on here right now, but always sew with an extension table. You hear me preach about that. It's great to have that extension table. Every professional person or person wanting to be a professional sewer will have an extension table attached to their machine or have their machine recessed in a cabinet. So your fabric lays flat when you sew, your arms are placed properly, you can use hand and arm placement, and nothing's hanging and dragging off the side of your sewing machine. Very important. Remember that whenever you take classes, look for professional sewing to know you, the money you invested in that class, you're going to learn professional techniques, okay? Now, I'll show you my baby lock machine. Okay, now here's my baby lock Aspire, 
which um, Brother has a model like it as well in their model number. But here, here's the deal. That, that, that uh, industrial attachment will not work on this machine because the screw hole is so much smaller. But you see the, you see the attachment, the seam guide I have on there? That's a dedicated seam guide made by the manufacturer of Brother and Baby Lock. Okay, Brother and Baby Lock you know, this is their, this is their um, dedicated seam guide. So if you need to sew straight and you want to have your seam allowance, now the only thing is with this type of thing, you know, every time you change seam allowance from 3 8 to a 5 8 you've got to unscrew it and move it back and forth. Now also, some people like to use a magnet. Uh, these magnets are okay, but you know, they do shift, they do tend to shift and move on you like that because there's a screw in the way there you can't really lay it flat here this is plastic up front here you know they all switched to plastic this used to be metal plate up here now they're using the plastic i don't want to diss anybody but it's like really guys did we have to go to plastic what was wrong with the metal so you see you, you can't lay this it's going to slip on you see that um, so anyway, if you have an industrial type machine, if you have the Janome machine, check to see if those, uh, those seam guides, those industrial seam guides will work on your machine. I know these seam guides on eBay are not very much money. So I can tell you that they do not work on my baby lock or my brother domestic machines, but they do work on the baby lock and brother industrial um, portable machine which is really great to have and it works on my Janome, my Janome Skyline. So if you want to try this and post comments on YouTube, under my YouTube video here and let us know which model you have and what it works for and you can help other people and contribute to the conversation. Okay, that's my tip for the day. Hope that helps you. Uh, like I said, I got this industrial seam guide, industrial sewing machine seam guide from eBay. So please, I don't want to have to read comments where someone wasn't paying attention and say, where did you get that again? You know, if you watch a lot of those Craftsy videos, the teacher in Craftsy is explaining everything that you need to know in those videos. And then you'll have people asking questions on those videos where you can write comments. They're asking the same questions the teacher's already covered in the video. So listen, everybody. Help other people by helping yourself and listen Turn up the volume and pay attention. Love you all. Bye. Till next time.